Alright boys, we got something new to add today. We got the good old pre-bug pulled out ready to get some work in today. And uh, well, we're going to be changing one little thing on this bike and riding it a bunch. So one thing we're going to be changing is when we built this bike, we pretty much kept all the CVT, which what came with it. We changed literally everything else on the bike. But the bike came with this clutch belt, this clutch, um, the variator, uh, the belt, everything CVT wise except for the gear cover was pretty much kept from the previous owner. Um, which is a dialed setup and that's why I did that. But the only thing I wanted to try and change was running a stage 6 variator. I ran one on the F12, I liked it a lot. And I figured, why not try it on this one. So I have on here right now is the Melosi Multivar Variator, which is a good variator. I run it on most of my other um, bikes, including all my other pre-bugs, these two pre-bugs here. But I really liked the way the Stage 6 performance was on the F12 and just how smooth these actual guides and ramps are in the variator itself. So we're going to take a look at that once we pull off the Melosi one. Um, we got our little ramp plate back there, clutch spring, which I don't know if we're going to be using. We're going to go get a little test ride on this one first, kind of figure out where the top speed is. Um, even though this thing's not set up for that, I didn't up gear it, I didn't really gear it, I didn't really set it up for a top speed bike. This is strictly meant to be a stunt bike, so it's probably hitting around 55 miles per hour, topped out. Could probably pull like a 60 mile per hour out of it if I want to tune it that way, but I don't. I want to keep it with that low and mid-range torque, so... That's what we're going for, boys. Don't know if you'll be able to see much of a difference on the camera, but you probably will with the way it shifts when we change that Contra. I think this one has a yellow Contra spring in it right now, which is like a 1500 spring, and this one just says strong on it. I'm thinking this is more like a 2K spring. I have a crucial blister on my hand from riding the other day. Yeah, I really like how this bike's set up because it just keeps wanting to pull the front end up. In a wheelie, you're not struggling to pick it up still. That makes sense. So, maybe that's where we might see a change in the variator. We might not like it. Who knows? I really like how this bike's set up right now, so I don't know why we're changing it, but... How are you supposed to know if you can do better if you don't try, you know? Alright, we'll hit a quick little uh, speed pull. How it shifts and everything, so we're going to be changing the Contra on it, so... From a dead stop, we'll go to the third street. So it hit 50 flat right there by the third street. Dude, it picked up the front wheel in the beginning on that launch. Get a little tuck action going. We're hitting only 10k. 99 on the RPM 10K, 10.4, 10.5, 52 miles per hour. We're going like up a little bit of a hill right now. Yeah. 280 on the temps, 52 miles per hour at like 10.5 on the RPM. You know what, we're gonna do one thing at a time here to really see the difference. So for now, I'm only gonna change the front variator and then uh, once we come back, we'll mess with the actual rear contra spring. This has an Athena belt on it, which I've never personally ran myself. I've always ran just like the Melosi belts. I didn't even notice this was Athena, but uh, I like it. So we'll see, it's a good fit. So Melosi Multivar front variator plate. Got a lot of shims in here. And then we got our Melosi Multivar actual variator here. All right, so in this kit, we got two different ramp plates and then we got two different bosses, obviously for the different size on your actual bike. And they came with some rollers, it came with some five gram rollers. That's pretty good. But uh, there's our ramp plates, boys. So we get to see which one is our correct spline. Same as the bosses, we're gonna be using the smaller one. So we'll keep the big one over there. Take our smaller one, put it over here. Rollers, contra spring, feeling pretty good. Stage six versus the Melosi one. Look how much steeper these ramps are on the stage six. It's kinda of hard to see. You could definitely see 
this one has a little bit steeper of an incline. So these Melosi ones are very steep of an incline. It almost goes up a vertical wall. And it's very fast how they fling out, right? These ones is a little bit more smoother of a transition. It looks more like a skateboard ramp. These ones are like a vert wall, man. It has like that last part, and the way the incline is, it starts from the bottom. These ones do like a slow swoop up. So they're gonna fling out totally different. It's gonna shift totally different. Um, very curious to see on the actual comparison of how we're gonna like it, but uh, no other way to try than throwing them on, boys. So, couple fives, couple sixes in there. That's a six. So we're currently running a uh, total weight of 34 and a half, I would say. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that in and try it all out. All right, another thing we're gonna be trying is. This uh, Melosi front variator, which I've always used on pretty much all my builds. My boy Jay, who builds a lot of these, has told me that uh, these 3AA on these uh, 3AA motors, so the Zuma has, I guess, two different series, you'd say. It's the same exact motor, but basically they changed on the development and how they were made. And uh, the older models, which this one came off of, the drum, has this 3AA front pulley, and supposedly this pulley is better than any aftermarket pulley. So we're gonna give that a try as well. Taking a look at it, you can see it's a lot steeper. This is the Melosi one, that's the 3AA. So we're gonna give that a try as well. You can probably see it better from that angle. We're gonna go ahead and give that a try as well. It looks almost like it's longer too, it's kind of interesting. All right, we got our stage six variator in there. We got the 3AA front uh, pulley and uh, well, nothing else to do but go try it out. <laughs> uh, at first I didn't think it was hitting as hard, now I don't know, it's hard to tell. Alright, let's see right here boys. Man, that's a hard one to tell. We hit 50 by the third street last time. It's about the same. Seems like it's revving a lot more though now. Definitely revving more, seems like. Oh, it picks back up though. Oh, I kind of like it. It feels a little better, I'm not going to lie. Fifty-five pin, dude. Fifty-five pinned. That's kind of what I thought. Oh, 
<laughs> Boys, last thing we're gonna try is that stage six contra string. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that bad boy on right now. Pop this big nut off. Yellow spring, a little shorter. Also, stage six is a little stiffer too, so we'll see how this does, boys. Throw it all back together, go test right. That's all you can do in the tuning process. Boys, I'm excited to try it now. Stage six, contra spring in it. Stage six, variator in it. Three AAA, three AA front plate. Same weights. <laughs> Takeoff changed drastically. Definitely has more top end now with that stiffer springs. It's opening probably a lot slower. But man, the uh, the takeoff changed drastically. No longer just pulls the front wheel up. That's for sure. It was. Definitely holding the RPMs down a little bit. It's opening a lot slower. You can hear how it's shifting. Still the same mile per hour to the street though. It's just how it shifts is different. Will it still pick up at 30 though? The wind is so bad right now, boys. RPM's at like a steady now, 10.6. 11K, but only 53 miles per hour now. So it changed a lot, actually. It changed a lot. That's actually crazy how much it changed just in that Contra. But I think it was hitting harder with the yellow Contra in it. Yeah, I don't like it. It doesn't feel like, I don't know, we could lighten the rollers and really see, but it doesn't feel like it used to at all. Might have to stick with the stage six front variator, yellow spring in the back, call it a day. And then let's go ride. Alright, so I just wanted to conclude the video on this Zuma. More than just what I showed in this video, I ended up actually spending way too much time swapping things back and forth this day. I just didn't turn my GoPro every time because it was starting to become a hassle when I was just doing the smaller changes. But I ended up lightening the rollers a tiny bit. I ended up putting back in the 1500, the yellow spring. I tried a few different ways with the stage six uh, rear contra spring. I tried heavier rollers, I tried lighter rollers. Sometimes you really don't know until you try with tuning like this because sometimes the heavier rollers help fling it out, but yet sometimes it's too hard to fling out where you need the lighter roller. So it's really like a back and forth thing from my experience at least with tuning these things. But I found my favorite setup so far and that's with 33 gram weights. So I lightened uh, the other three by 0.5 grams. Uh, 1500 spring, the stage six variator with the 3AA front pulley. Still have the Athena belt. I actually have a Melosi belt to try next, and I think I might like the Melosi belt more because I have the Melosi belt on this scooter. And I remember when I put it on, it was a big change, 
and uh, who knows, that could be something that might help a little bit too. Also, I have another part to add to this thing, which um, I'm very curious to see if it helps a little bit. So uh, we'll do that next time, and we got a bunch of writing in on this thing, and a bunch more videos actually right now. So uh, glad we're stacking up on some content, and uh, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up, subscribe, check out the description down below if you want to help support the channel, grab something from the website, and uh, that's going to do it until the next time we're messing with these scooters, which will currently be right now, but you guys will see it next time. So that's going to do it. I'll see you guys in the next one.